The first thing we should do after the import, we need to save it. Click File, choose Save As, Private Project, and save it as Second Project Synchro. Now let's check what parameters have been transferred from Revit to Synchro. Open 3D Properties, Resource Properties, Resources, all from the Windows tab. Let's choose an object to see its parameters. Click over Resource Properties and choose User Fields. As you can see from this tab, instance parameters displayed along with type parameters. These have been transferred from Revit from Properties tabs. In Revit, let's select the same wall and check its type parameters. You see, for example, description is here. The properties we are interested in for this moment are assembly code and base constraint. Let's add these columns to the resource window. Make a right click over the heading and choose customize columns. Now expand the user field graph and we can either look for it by scrolling down, base constraint, or we can use search box. Make a double click over the parameters name and let's remove type, supplier, calendar for a moment. To change the structure of view mode, make a right click and choose view mode as custom. For resources like this, where there are no base constraint or level specified, we will assign them manually. But let's try the other ones. For example, this window. We see here that its parameters is level. Let's customize column again and add columns associated with level. Base level, level, reference level. and assembly code and type parameter assembly code. Now we can filter elements where level is not assigned. Select an empty cell under base constraint, right click and filter equals cell value. Do the same for the reference level, level and base level. Click over any cell and choose Select All Resources. Click Select Only Visible Resources in the table. Go to the Assigned Resource tab and choose Isolate Selected. And you can see now nested families or host families have no reference level. Also, there is equipment that we don't need to see in this project at this stage. To resolve these issues in Revit, I created a view template that is hiding all unnecessary categories from the model. Apply it and export to Synchro again. In the Synchro, let's display all elements in the model. Go to the external data, make a right click over Synchro file and choose Synchronize from. In the browse, select the file we exported earlier. Open, Next, and leave all settings default. Now our model display more clear. And there are fewer elements without reference level left. Let's see them again. We have topography, windows, and top rails. Let's isolate these elements so we can assign level manually from Synchro. and do the same filtering procedure for assembly code. There are surfaces only that do not have assembly code and we don't need it assigned for them. So basically we did a model health check and learn how to synchronize files in Synchro.